You're in Comedy Central. I'm Chuck Montgomery in the Comedy Central newsroom. We have a tragic report. Comedian Sam Kinison has been killed in a car accident. The controversial comedian was on his way to an engagement at Riverside Resort Hotel in Laughlin, Nevada last night when his car was struck head-on by two teenagers in a pickup truck. The driver of the truck has been arrested and charged with vehicular manslaughter. Kinison, 38, was traveling with his wife of less than one week. She's listed in serious but stable condition. They just returned from a honeymoon in Hawaii. Repeating that headline, comedian Sam Kinison was killed instantly last night when his car was struck head-on on his way to an engagement. Stay tuned to Comedy Central for further details. You're in Comedy Central. Off the crowd that we were good comedians, we had good material, and to dig our heels in and just do our set. Well, there hasn't been a, a month that's gone by that I haven't heard of that phrase or haven't said it to myself, digging my heels in. That stayed with me. Uh, Michael was that way. He could offer criticism, criticism and advice without being condescending or preachy. Uh, he made many television appearances, including Letterman and, and specials, and uh, he worked all over the country. On behalf of myself and the many comedians whose lives he enriched, he will not be forgotten. You're at Comedy Central. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We're sending WP51 return. Oh, crime any stupid clones. I really miss my Mac. Hey, Crow, what's this mean? Too many parameters hyphen WP51. What? Oh, uh, come, look. Oh, uh, you used a forward slash instead of a backslash. A what? Oh, oh, okay. CD backslash WP51 return. 30 seconds to commercial sign. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Satellite of Love. Tom Servo and Crow are in the middle of another user interface war. Let's watch. Oh, this is rich. Bad command or file name. Why, well, they expect you to be a machine to operate this machine. Oh, and I suppose you'd prefer a little animated clown who would juggle over to the little file cabinet and then wink at you and point to the right drawer. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. At least I don't have to have a photographic memory to get my Mac to work. Both user interfaces work perfectly well. It's really just a matter of the individual's personal preference. We think the joke will be on Tom Servo and Crow. Now here, the problem with IBM's incompatibles is that they lack the elegance and intuitive nature of the Mac. Mac products are reliable, proven, and they always work. Oh yeah? What about System 7? It's coming! It's coming, okay? There were a few bugs in it, okay? Boy. You can have a lot of fun with people hopelessly mired in computer nuance. Watch this. Hey, has anybody seen the mouse for my Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? <laughs> Amiga? Oh, come on. There's a machine for Woo. ya. <laughs> yeah. Hey, has anyone seen my <laughs> fat <laughs> Angus drive? <laughs> Four, three, two, <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Larry Miller, but in a way, aren't we all? And I want you to watch me on the A-list here at Comedy Central. That's the A-list, not the A-team. I hope. The A-list premiering Sunday, April 19th at 9.30 here at Comedy Central. Always in fashion. Hollywood Pictures. Surprise! Dad? When Jack Scanlon passed away. Dad hated me. Who said that? Dad did. His family was reunited. My son Tony I... was mugged by a gang of transvestites. They pierced his ear. He got away just before they shaved his legs. And now, the only thing that's going to get them through this difficult time. I tell you how bad my hip is. Yeah, 10 minutes ago. It's worse. Is their love for each other. Who are you? I'm the father of her child. Passed Away, rated PG-13, starts Friday, April 24th. You say your eyes are red, irritated, dry? Don't hide them. Help them with Clear Eyes. It gets rid of the redness and has an extra moisturizing ingredient, too. Clear Eyes. And for allergies and colds, Clear Eyes ACR. Twice the power. That makes a big difference. Professional plumbers on Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. All the other liquid drain opener is dilute. This stuff doesn't. It's more powerful. So twice as much power attacks the hair clog and bam. Goodbye, clog. <laughs> Get twice the power to the clog. Listen, those new dog biscuits you've been getting instead of Milk Bone, why? Milk Bone has nearly half the fat of those Purina biscuits. Half the fat. Please, give me back my Milk Bone. Less fat. Dogs know. Amazingly, last year over $135 million in financial aid to students went unclaimed. A fact which creates an incredible business opportunity for the person with vision. Using computers, academic guidance services can solve this dilemma by matching students with financial aid sources. If selected, we can set you up in your own business, where you can enjoy a surprisingly high profit margin of over 300% every time you submit a student for processing. Incredibly, over 2 million students each year are desperately in need of your service, and we show you how to market your business nationwide. In our system, you own your own business, and we do all the processing for you under your own company name. Best of all, the checks are made out to your company, and you make your money right away while you work at home part-time. There's a lot more to tell. See if you're qualified to receive a free videotape. Call the 800 number listed and do it now while this opportunity is still available. Oh, now this is really, really neat. Unrecoverable application error. This is really cute, Crow. I suppose we'll have to re-enter the entire spreadsheet now. Mm -hmm. No, uh -huh. no, no, no. Just rewrite the auto-exec bad file and stick in a memory manager. Uh, that's all. Just take a minute. Out, uh, Don't worry. Reboot the dang thing so have... Yeah, while uh, Tom Servo's rebooting the computer, uh, I thought it'd be a good time to show this week's invention exchange. And uh, what I've got here, let me turn it on a second, is a uh, new tool to help expand people's consciousness. You know, Joe, there's some things that people shouldn't be conscious about. Like what? Well, like the fact that their tongues are just sitting in the bottom of their mouths all day, all night, even when they sleep. Yeah. Uh, uh, ch chatter, but would you let me finish? Uh, I'm oh, talking sorry. about expanding people's consciousness about the recycling cause. That's why I built this audio animatronic pop can. Enough yeah. magic for many evenings. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what I thought we could do is use it as a spokesperson for, like, recycling commercials when we get back to Earth. Here's yeah. a baffler worth twice the price. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Crow, let's do yeah. that thing where I make him work and I'll manipulate the can. You do the voice, okay? okay? Right, okay. Young magicians love this one. <laughs> yeah. Hello, folks. Remember, I recycle. Good night. No skill required. Oh, this is rich. Stands rigid inspection, a quality product. That one stung small and easy to... Ah. What do you think, sirs? I think you've got a kooky screw loose, is what I think. <laughs> oh, we have fun. Oh, quit your clowning, itchy mango, and go and get your harness on. All of it. Disco's back, frog bait, and so am I. And so is this new Disco Cumber Bubble Bun. Enter Frank. That's it, baby. Work that body. 
Make it burn. There you go. There's a good one. Oh, another good one, Frank. Yes. Come on, you can make a bubble. You just put your knees together and squeeze. Yes. I have seen the future of hip hop, Joel, and it is Frank. As for your experiment this week, it's another in a long line of Gamera giant flying turtle movies. This one's featuring Baragon, who's sort of a giant lizard dog with itchy scalp. Take this film and shove it, Joel. But you see, you could press it back down again, Crow, because he's a rock'em, sock'em robot. Oh, 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 movie's on! Ah! Movie's on! You know, that Cumber Bubble Bun looks kind of familiar for some reason. Water, the source of all Sandy Frank films. Oh, D-A-E-I-O. Hey, looks like a kid wrote this with a crayon. Oh, I wouldn't for one negate Nagata. You got it, though. Oh, planning. I hate when he plans. There's never enough buns. Music supplied by our own Osaka High School Flying Pipers Drum Corps. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Hey, I think I see my laundry. <laughs> kill the wabbit. A little background first. Six months ago, an airplane carrying an atom bomb crashed while flying over the Arctic Ocean. Seen the it. Hated it. Taped it. Sharing the huge ice flows and releasing from the depths, Gamera. Bill Gamera. Who had been imprisoned in the ice for thousands of years. Hello. Yeah. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Captivity was to attack Japan. Ooh. All man-made weapons proved powerless against him. All scale models were powerless against him. <laughs> oh, there was only one last resort, the Z plan. Gamera was jettisoned to Mars in a rocket. Again, there was failure. And deep the rocket personal crashed into shame. Meteor and split open, liberating Gamera from the capsule. And in maybe, just maybe, in a small way, liberating all monsters everywhere. <laughs> Gamera returned to Japan and attacked the Kurobe Dam, the largest of its kind in the entire Orient. So you know it's good. Gamera must have a source of fuel. And so from the power plant, he extracted electricity to store in his own body. Weird, huh? Hmm. Hey. Hi. Oh. Go. Hey. Hmm? What's that? What's what? Hey, it's Gamera! Gamera! Oh, oh, you know, I thought he looked familiar. Hey. Look out! Oh, damn. Hey, stop talking. One at a time. Quit talking all at the same time. Oh. Looks like a big chicken pot pie, kind of. Mm. Mm. I just can't get close to anyone anymore. Oh. Yeah. Are you mad? Turn off the main switch! Huh, funny. In color, I expected Gamera to be more of a strawberry blonde. Mm, he's kind of a tawny. Um, oh, well. Camera puts what? on 50,000 pounds. Oh, My lunch God. for me, I'll think. Why does he sound like someone playing the trumpet badly? Oh, I mean like Chuck Mangione? Uh, <laughs> Tokyo, I think it's time to start thinking about solar power. Ah, uh, he can't resist. He's a slave to his own passion. Gamera craves the creamy taste of flames. Mm. Oh, now is that necessary, young man? I mean... Charbroiled city. Charbroiled city. Charbroiled city. Char Man, he's got a short reach, you know? No, break the city at 7,500 degrees. Quick, get the KC Masterpiece sauce. I think he means it this time. Move it. Hey, hurry up. Put the power in all the other plants. Oh, I'm full. Oh, you know what you want to do is you, you want to huh? pull off them pedals and dip it in that oh, sauce good. there. Oh, that's mm. really super neat. Oh, yeah, try the lemon. Yeah. You know, that mm. reminds me I should shingle my roof when I get back to Earth. Huh? Yeah. Hi. 
Whoa, it looks like Wembley Stadium after a uh, soccer match. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. Mm. So. Oops, that was me. My fault. Ah, sorry. I can't see my heads inside, you know. <laughs> Higher, Gamera. Higher. About 50 feet up. Okay, back up and push. Uh-oh. A spectacular cascade of Alka Seltzer. I can't believe Gamera ate the whole thing. He ate it, Ralph. <laughs> Look, water, the source of all. We know, we know. Gamera loves flame. But they go straight to his hips. He left Japan as suddenly as he had arrived oh, and headed for Mount Uzal in the equator, hmm. flying directly toward the flowing molten lava. He had a contract with Whammo. Hmm. When in Cleveland, visit the Golden Dragon Inn, only 15 minutes from our cinema. And now back to our film, Sky King, the motion picture. Tell me, are you really going to resign? Yeah. This is my last day up here. I will serve my master down there. But you've just earned your wings after so much dedicated work. Clarence. What made you decide to quit? Tired of flying already? Certainly not. My dream is to continue flying. And have my voice done. Or else life would be worthless. Hmm. But that's why I'm quitting now. I want to learn more. You should too. So that later, I will be more skilled. Fair enough. Hey. Hmm. Hey, did you George Harrison write this song? Yeah, yeah. my sweet warlord. Oh, that's cute. 33 and a third, I think. Yeah. I never knew a cheese cutter could sound this good. Uh, it's the Joy Luck Club blues band. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, play it like you feel it, Mr. Eddie's father. And now it's Pink Lady Unplugged. Ah, uh, this ought to shut him up. Come on. Oh, they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, gang, maybe you shouldn't be smoking around mm. all those things, hmm? Hmm. Now this one kind of looks like an avocado. Hey, can the pineapple, it's somebody. I'll get it. Ah, damn Charlie horse, sitting on my leg. Hmm? Superfly? Oh, it's you. Got him. Come in. Tea, biscuits? My brother. Hi, I'm dangerous to myself and others. Uh, here's all my money. How much? <laughs> it's my pension. Ooh, Not a big them. help. Yeah, it's no use working for others. I've got to get my own aircraft company. Now. However small. That'll take money. And you don't have any. He just took it. Nah, nah. <laughs> well, now that we're all here, I'll tell you the plan. During the war, I found a huge opal. Hmm. Big. But believe me, it was about the size of an ostrich egg. Oh, it I gets bigger it every cake. time he tells a story. Just before I was taken away to a prisoner of war camp, I managed to hide it again in the cave where I'd found it. That was 20 years ago. Don't It'll be gone. The, war. the cave lies deep in a dense jungle where even the natives never go. Mm. I think that it'll be safe. We'll be taking a big gamble. Yeah. <laughs> you me like a gamble. <laughs> we'll be able to sell it for an absolute fortune. Hmm. Are you sure it's a real opal? It's real. Yep. It must be. And there might be more as well. Since I can't get away, Case of K, you go. It for me. Case of Dia. Gladly. Yeah. This Sunday, Comedy Central celebrates the premiere of our new stand up show, The A List, with the comedy Z to A countdown. First, there's comedian Paul Zaloom. He's the Z. Then Alan King talks with Henny Youngman. He's the Y. We won't stop until we get to A when Richard Lewis hosts the new stand-up show, The A-List. Hey, can we build us up anymore? So join us in a daring backwards trip through the alphabet on the Comedy Z to A countdown this Sunday, all day, only at Comedy Central. E-D-C-B-A. Cha-cha-cha. Sure. Unsure. Sure. Unsure. Sure. Unsure.
When dryness really counts, be sure to be dry. Sure Solid has the most effective wetness fighting ingredient you can buy. For dryness, no one can beat. So you're either sure or unsure. Sure. Unsure. Be sure to be dry. Do that zing, zing, that groovy zing, zing, make my mouth sing. Do that zing, zing. New zings, cracker chips from Nabisco, zesty little z's, zingy flavor, original cheddar and ranch. Do that zing, zing. Listen, those new dog biscuits you've been getting instead of milk bone, why? Milk bone has nearly half the fat of those Purina biscuits. Half the fat. Please, give me back my milk bone. Less fat. Dogs know. How fast does Ambisol start to relieve toothache pain? Before you can say. Ambisol. Canker sore pain? Before you can say. Ambisol. Relieve minor mouth pain on contact with Ambisol in regular or maximum strength. I never leave the house without clean breath because it makes me feel better about myself and it makes other people feel better about me. And too few things in life are that reciprocal. Get search with Retson because there's nothing funny about bad breath. Introducing Color Match, the acrylic sealant that actually matches your car's original color and covers all those minor nicks and scratches with a protective shine that lasts for one full year guaranteed. Watch how it works. First, we'll damage this car's paint. Ouch, that's damage. Now watch as we apply the Color Match system. Look how easily it goes on. And watch how those nicks and scratches disappear. Now you see them, now you don't. Even dull, faded finishes are brought back to the car's original color. Color Match really works. And don't worry, Color Match is not a paint. It's a high-tech acrylic dye blended to match your car's color, even after 50 times through the car wash. The Color Match system is yours for only $19.95. And if you order now, you'll receive a second bottle absolutely free. And there's more. We'll also give you glass shield, Duragloss, and fog shield, an extra bonus value of over $20 absolutely free. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-525-2828 or write to the address on your screen. Hmm. You'll all go on a cargo boat. With crutch cargo. Of course. <laughs> Get it? False names, and you'll carry forged papers. Hmm. You got them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. Cost me a small fortune. Hmm. Hmm. And a forgery. This is for you. This one for you. And the password is... You two will board the ship as ordinary seamen. For God's sake, don't bungle. In the jungle. We're on you. Thanks. Okay? Okay. The Awaji Maru will reach New Guinea in 25 days. Really? Unload here, and then continue around this area. And then it returns back to the original harbor mm -hmm. just about a fortnight later. You three have got that two-week period in which to locate the Opal. You mean we're to quit the ship without leave and then reboard it again? That's dishonest. Mm. I always say... We want to pick up the bones of our buddies who died inland during the war. Oh, that's red. <laughs> <laughs> then when you get to the airport here, you'll have to charter a helicopter. Case of K, you'll be able to fly it for them. That's why you're here. And next, money. Remember to take plenty of black market dollars with you. Make sure they have Art Linkletter's picture on them. Be careful of the scorpions. And a white You've snake. You've had it if they <laughs> The jungle is full of many other dangers as well. So take these just to be safe. And don't run by the pool. And bring a washcloth and a Ziploc bag to clean up after baby. Yeah, and don't go into the water until an hour after you've eaten. Yeah. Are those uh, chick cheese? Mm. Mm -hmm. Just who do they think we are anyway? Ah, oh, stop Trouble. grumbling. Patience. Go. <sighs> hey, you! Mm -hmm. That room's filthy. So clean it. Do it yourself. Yeah. Hey, it's TV's Mr. The... T. Oh. Mm. I pity those fools. <laughs> working hard? No, hardly yeah. working. <laughs> it's a... you find us some easier work to do? Just stick with it. Uh, help us out. Come on, huh? It's we have fun. to clean the washroom, too. <laughs> it's no joke. Oh, sorry, I forgot <clears throat> I laughed. Huh? Hey, my cabin tonight. Only three more days. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. I've got a calendar. I know. Don't give it up now. Okay. Well, nearing the Santana concert, we put on our love beads and put down the landing gear of our VW microbus. Kill. And we're just in time to see Don Ho. And his sister, Heidi. 
all the Earth Mothers are expressing their political stances. That's quite a stance, too. Wish I had a lawnmower. Hey! hey. The male of the tribe is saying, how about dinner and a movie? The female responds with, okay, but I've seen Mannequin already. The male says he just wants to go to sleep, but the female wants to talk. Can't see. Hey. Whoa. Beat it. What, did somebody drop a Coke bottle all of a sudden? Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie is The Jungle Goddess. Starring George Reeves, a guy who looks like Granny Colfax, and lots of French fried potatoes. <laughs> Hi, we're from America. We've come to decimate your jungle, convert your youth, and make you feel inferior. Look, it's Robert Duvall. Hello? Anybody here? You know, I swear there were a lot of dancers here a minute ago. It doesn't make figure. Go figure. Hi, how was your flight? Uh, hey, quit <laughs> clowning. <laughs> it's probably quite far to the cave. Ah. Uh, Ooh, they seem rude. Hey, get me. I'm a stranger in paradise what big time. <laughs> hmm? Huh? Look, there's writing. It says Yankees of go home. Of course there is. It's a guidepost. Not much use if we can't read it. How many words a picture? Uh-huh. Hey, give me the map, will you? I think that there might be a shortcut through the jungle somewhere. <laughs> uh, who goosed me? Pat Morita, denture wearer. Hey, watch it. Don't wave that gun, we're quite safe. Yes, it's a move. You're pleased. They helped us a lot during the war. They're good people. Yeah. You better let me keep it. Give it here, huh? Uh-oh. I'll uh, shoot myself to prove we're friendly. Hey, ask one of them to be our guide. How can I? None of them understand us. You're wrong. I understand perfectly. Hey, is anybody called Dibs yet? Dibs! Oh, Dibs. Darn, darn. Are you smitten by my eyes by now? <sighs> oh, it's my dad. I got to go now. Oh, it's Tom Wolf. Oh, thank God. The contemporary novel is saved. <laughs> You gentlemen come directly from Japan? Yes. Who are you? A doctor. I've been living and working with the people of these islands for over ten years. He has tenure, then. <laughs> Our friend, the doctor, came with his wife to study certain diseases. Then his wife died of the very disease he was curing. Convenient. He decided mm. to stay here the rest of his life. We're impressed. It is quiet here. I feel now that I belong to this peaceful village. I never even think of my own home any longer. Not even a little? And I have been extremely fortunate, for Karen is my assistant and uh, an excellent We get too. the picture. <laughs> ah. Oh. By the way, what has brought you to such a backward spot? The wind, ma'am, the wild wind. Well, sir, we've come to investigate a certain cave. Hmm. It isn't far from here. Hmm. <laughs> No go, Navajo. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Doctor, do you know where the cave is? Oh, you must not go near that cave. Believe me. And why not? It's called Rainbow Valley. The Care Bears live there. What is that? On that stone, there's a warning to all. Says warning. It forbids us to go there, and he who disobeys it will not return. Hmm. But why? Nobody knows. Not trouble that I've seen. We stood there. Thousands of years, so they say. Only a fool would disobey. Hmm. Our ancestors handed down a warning that an evil spirit dwells there, hmm. and it is dangerous even to approach the Valley of the Rainbow. Go on. Then no one here will act as our guide. Certainly not. Nope. All the people are begging you not to go. You must respect their wishes on this point. Even his royal neck brace says so. All right, huddle up, everybody. Hey. Bring it in. Come on, bring Listen. it in. Dog tourists. Ha! They don't want anyone to go near that cave. What more proof could there be that there's hidden treasure there? Hmm. Of course. And they've even created a legend to protect it. Hmm. The evil spirit is really the Scorpio my brother mentioned then. Hmm. We'll never get a guide from them. I'll have to call Kelly girls. Let's go alone. This way. But what if the treasure really does belong to these natives? So we're going to take it anyway. Okay. Let's hey, let's go. Gee, Come on. Let's go. Hmm? No, no! 
You mustn't go in there. Just wait. Don't go. The maid of God. No. Don't go in there. All right, all right. I didn't think this gun would come in handy so soon. Right, now, let's go. Just letting up a little steam. Gotta go. Oh, we gotta go, too. Nice meeting you, folks. Whoa. Thanks for everything. And we'll be right back right after this. Kids, here's the greatest, the neatest, the latest thing. 5,000 piece fighting men and monster sets. Some pieces not included. Astonish and baffle your friends and foes while you pulverize Japan. Here's what you get. 500 Japanese light infantry body parts may not be missing. 36 helpless officials, 20 tanks, 15 recoilless rifles not in the set. 24 bazooka gum runners, 18 ambulance chasers, 12 jet fighters, sick not included. 16 helicopter parts, 200 shooting crouchers, 19 fighting clowns, 8 deserters, 6 Kisalayan, 24 Mohawk Indians, and much, 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 much more. Act now and receive at half the extra value of the mystifying monster action pack. Flame on with Gamera, torso sold separately. He spits real fire and causes real pain. Solid rubber bear gun comes complete with optional ram tongue action, not responsible for nerve damage. And amuse your friends with Topo, Meep Song, and Bart the Batlin, Belgian and Dive. Some parts may not exist. Act now, act often, and snap on the entire Tokyo metropolitan area, complete with buildings, bridges, and the breakaway Monty, Nuko Dam, smaller than shown. Trample the ad on hapless citizen playset, then abhor the action with the fabulous anti-war protest pack. Senator Wollstone not included. But that's not all. Relive your favorite Japanese movie carnage with the lights, Gamera action series. There's the gimp, the goon, the shame-filled brother, the hapless Keisha, and the pull apart voodoo Kenny. Pose in the nude with the frisky kitten review, then watch the action from high atop Tokyo Tower as the twisted world you create explodes in rivers of blood and endless pain. Order today. Offer limited. Not available in Utah or Puerto Rico. Price is subject to win. Please wear rubber underwear and some parts. Baby made of chicken. Neck now. Buy bonds. A dog. Mommy. Mommy. Okay. Mommy. Okay, okay. breathe, boy. Breathe. Oh, mommy. That was a good one. Let's not mommy. do that again. Mommy. Here's something we think mommy. you'll really like. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, I'm Larry Miller, but in a way, aren't we all? And I want you to watch me on the A-list here at Comedy Central. That's the A-list, not the A-team. I hope. The A-list premiering Sunday, April 19th at 9.30 here at Comedy Central. My friend Amanda used to wear those horrible, fake-looking colored contact lenses. Ugh, I said to her. Then one day, she waltzes in with the most gorgeous, warm, soft, sparkly blue eyes ever. Now this is you, I said. Illusions color contact, she said. Real, I said. Illusions, she said. New illusions for even the darkest brown eyes in so many warm colors. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Really? Which scoopable litter would the experts prefer? A leading litter or new Scoop Fresh cat litter? They both clump. But does your litter freshen between scoops? Well, that proves it. New Scoop Fresh freshens better between scoops. Hey, I found my hamster. Uh, what are we looking for again? What does it look like? Hmm? A bowling ball? Hey! <sighs> it's here! It's here! Earl Anthony's signature. <laughs> I'm crying. Our gamble paid off. Me. <sighs> we got the opal. It's ours. Those men. No wonder they tried to stop us. Man, that was fast. But now we're multi-millionaires. Just wait till I get home. I'll buy a great big mansion. Keep all the cover stuff of all the dumb luck. Uh oh, you got a little uh, a um, rubber wife. scorpion. Huh? She'll burst with happiness. Say, I'll do just what I please from now on. Just think. No more broccoli. You'll own an aircraft company. So <laughs> please, I shall go mad. On a dear, you say something, eh? Uh, any last words? Hey, on a dear, aren't you happy that we found it? No. Friendship is worth much more than the opal to me. I just want you kids to be good. Here out to share a good friend. Imagine sharing all this with us. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Think how happy he'll be that we found it. Oh, yeah. I wish I could tell him. <sighs> hey! Here out! Call the alien free! We found the opal! 
boy, is he high. <clears throat> Excuse me, Death, where is thy sting? We're waiting. <laughs> what an eccentric performance. Any minute now, I think we are. Bingo. Up, time to break out the back team. Oh. Well, at least he's dying a millionaire. <laughs> Push down on the wound. Hugo! For one brief shining moment, there was a Camelot. Hugo! Ooh. Put a tourniquet it's on his neck. It's dark! Ooh, it's Ooh kiss down. it, make it better! Uh, I'm going to you. Bear down. Push. Hugo! Uh, it's a boy. Congratulations. <laughs> Come on, Jerry! Come on, Jerry! Hurry! Come on, Yuri! You've never given up on anything before! Don't quit now, man! Come on, Yuri! Come on, Yuri! Tom and Jerry, what? That's not right. Must have been his favorite cartoon. Oh, we had so much more to do. <laughs> he died as he lived. Goofy. Mm-hmm. Hey, I heard too, man. He was unlucky. Hey, I'm dealing with it. Why can't you? Oh, I have your watching. So, lunch? Don't cry. It's no use. Let's go. My man. Yeah, we still got a thousand wonderful hours. Hey, let's put him in a real scary pose. <laughs> well, there's one good thing at least. We've got the opal. We might as well get going. Come on, you can't bring him back to life. Man, wuss. Oh. For safety, I'll keep the opal. Hmm? Yeah, I'm better now. I'm all right. Huh? Hmm. Hey, now. Don't you trust me with it? Well, I, uh... Trust? Hmm. You can keep the opal. I'll take the gun. Sorry, there's a seven-day waiting period on that call. Oh. Okay. Neat deal. One, two, three, grab. Wait. It's a football phone. There might be other jewels hidden in the cave. Hmm. I'll bet ours isn't the only one. Let's look now that we're in here. Hey, Steve, dead buddy. Do you think that was smart of me to get the gun for the opal? I did it for you. Ooh. Now to desecrate the body. Hey, that's my family. I wonder what his sign was, Scorpio? No. <laughs> <It's got, laughs> the, with the D and the bug and the... Bing. Uh, tickle, tickle. No organ donor card. <laughs> you know, it's a Brunswick. I'm going to bowl a 300 with this baby. <laughs> oh, hey, that's not being supportive of your friend's feelings. At least he's lighting a few candles for the guy. That's good. That's good. Oh. I don't think those are candles. Sparklers. Ah, oh, the Roadrunner's never going to fall for this. I did, uh, huh? Surprise! Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Golden Simpson. Golden Allen. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have been out of the cave first. What was I thinking? Note to myself. Get out of cave before blowing it up. Me and my booty. Speaking of... <clears throat> Easy on the vermouth, please. And shaken, not stirred, please. Hmm? Oh, my salad! I'm kidding. Come here. Now! Guess not. Saigon. 
can't believe I'm still in Saigon. Oh, he's missing the luau. Oh, he can wait. <laughs> what am I doing in this place? We found you in time. Oh. You would have been dead. Minutes later. But don't think that we saved you out of kindness. We simply like our meat fresh. Very clear. That friend of yours found something in the cave. Maybe. He's gone. There's no need to cover for him. He betrayed you, didn't he? In a way. He wanted all of what we found. An opal. An oboe? Opal? Yes, huge. It was as big as that. Oh, you're thinking of an ocarina. My brother hid the opal inside that cave 20 years ago. Hmm. It was to be shared between us all. Dad, Dad, he said opal to me. I think we're going to be married. You got any toaster? Oh, hmm? oh man, I gotta get a coat hanger down this thing. It's itching like a bear. You killed me. <laughs> now what? Get your popcorn, peanuts, jewel thieves, frosty malts. Bob Hope's out there. I think our friend's about to become a casserole. Better get a plan quick. Gotta think of something. I gotta get this t-shirt back to Henry Chanasky. I told them not to go in the cave, and now look what happens. Oh, it's all right. Gogan's here. Tell him, Dad. <clears throat> What are they doing? It's a long drum solo. It's not your place to ask. They are praying to ward off the curse of the gods. Curse of the gods? Do not scorn what even science cannot explain. <laughs> something terrible will happen. Didn't if we something don't get terrible it back, just happen? Thousands and thousands of lives depend on its return. Hmm. I see. The opal's worth that much, huh? What you found, there's no monetary Oh, take the marbles out of your mouth, old man. So, uh, who's lining? Yours? Mine? Are we done? Is that a wrap? Oh, we're still rolling. <clears throat> Doctor, let me get it back from Japan. No, you can't. You're a girl. I will go. Oh, no. You have your patients here who need you desperately. I will go to Japan. You can't. You've never even been there. It wouldn't be sane for you to go oh, alone. Well, I have no choice. I must try to save these people. My child. Hmm? Ask him to go with me. Listen, the thing you found wasn't a gem. Hmm. Do you still think that it was an opal? Oh, well, yeah, who does? We're afraid misfortune will follow. That's why we are praying. You don't expect me to believe that story, do you? Ha! Huh. Something terrible will happen now. The legend warns that the gods will be angry. Hmm. You've disobeyed the order. None of us has ever dared to visit the valley. Ho, ho, ho. You've touched something evil and forbidden. Oh, I suppose you're perfect. What it perfect. can be, I don't know, but it's certainly not a gem. This Sunday, Comedy Central celebrates the premiere of our new stand-up show, The A-List, with the comedy Z2A countdown. First, there's comedian Paul Zaloom. He's the Z. Then Alan King talks with Henny Youngman. He's the Y. We won't stop until we get to A when Richard Lewis hosts the new stand-up show, The A-List. Hey, can we build us up anymore? So join us in a daring backwards trip through the alphabet on the comedy Z2A countdown this Sunday, all day, only at Comedy Central. E-D-C-B-A. Cha-cha-cha. I used to be on the pill, but who wants to think about birth control every day? Semicid contraceptive inserts contain the spermicide doctors recommend most. I only use it when I need it. Semicid, birth control that you control. Listen, those new dog biscuits you've been getting instead of Milk Bone, why? Milk Bone has nearly half the fat of those Purina biscuits. Half the fat. Please, give me back my Milk Bone. Less fat, dogs know. 
it's the start of Bonanza. Boss, let it go. Thank God they used Downey. Mm -hmm. The time tunnel in color. I think it's mackerel with cheese sauce on a dollop of cream. Mm. Ah. Or maybe not. It's out of focus, whatever it is. A piece of liver! Mm. This movie is fascinating! Not. No, I think it's a ballpark Frank. See, it's plumping as he cooks it. Mm. Well, I think we've pretty much determined that it is not an opal. Ooh. Nothing says loving like something from the oven. <laughs> Caution, filling is hot and alive. And so the egg, young and blue, searches for its mother. Hey, little milky guy. Hey, Sonny Rollins is practicing on the bridge again. Hey, Doctor, play one more game, huh? Hmm? Well, I hope that I'll be able to win it. Oh, somebody get that guy up. It's getting late. Yeah. I'm going to show it tomorrow. Uh, aren't we? Oh, no, Dara. The sick bay door won't open. Hey, look, I it's a clown. Put it. mm. oh. this claw there. No. I want to give it to your dead friend. Not now. Some other time. Hey, it's the DJ from you Delight. See, my father hmm. died on that island. So your friend doesn't seem like a stranger to me. Huh. Open it. Um. No, Dara. Please give him the key. I got boardwalk, park place. Oh! Hey, who took the tires off the dock? Next week on Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. What's going on here? Engine room! Give me the engine room! Engine room! Captain, Captain. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh, goodbye, ma'am. Bye. Hey, Jake and Elwood. Hmm. Cap Calloway. Ship. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Hirata, you sure they've got the Yoko? Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, then, let me see it. You're asking a very high price. Yes. yes. Ooh, at 7 a.m., the main hatchway caved in. The wreck of the Ella Fitzgerald? Hey, Adam Clayton Powell. Oh, no. Hey, it's funny, girl, and there's Barbara Streisand. Hmm. Mikhail! Taxi? Oh, taxi. Cab. Taxi. Cab. Cab. Uptown. Cab. Jeep. Uh. <clears throat> Welcome to Ellis Island. Your name is now Bob Smith. Angelini? No, you're now Corleone. And I think I'll name you Appetite. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed your Norwegian Princess Cruise. Take the ambulance over there. Take that blanket. Oops, I wet him. Hey. hey, did you ever see the movie Papillon? Oh, no, no, no. Hey. <laughs> I know, I, I saved this. Hey, they're giving away free clothes over there. Oh. I was lucky. Something important. Something mm -hmm. important, too. What do you got there? Your friend's bones. You can keep them, you fool. Oh? They're pig's bones. Womp, womp, womp. Pig's bones? Hmm? Ah, excuse me, have you come from that ship? I have. Do you know where Casey K is? Who'd you say? Casey K. Uh, he was a seaman on the same ship. Uh, let me see. Mm, let's see, I'm a psychic. You're the great Karnak. Thank heavens you're all right. Yes, yes, But where's my brother? Casey K. Casey K. Bad news. What's happened to him then? Bad news. Sorry. All right. He's dead. Huh? He's dead? Hmm. Yeah. He slipped and fell. Onto some live grenades. Belly inside the cave. Kawajiri, too. Kawajiri, Kawabunga. I searched for them both. Ooh. Through the whole cave. For about ten seconds. But I couldn't find their bodies. It was terrible. Did you find the gem? Did you? I want to look at it. Of course. I've got it. Is it true? Is it? Let me see it then. 
The opal sank when the ship did. No. I was keeping it safe by hiding it in my cabin. Hmm. I don't believe you. Well, I'm telling you the truth. All right, it wasn't my cabin. The sea is very deep right here. A diver can retrieve it. Me. No, 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 uh, 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 uh. There's no need to give up. No, 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 no. You're a fool to think we'll ever get it back. You call me when you found it. Till then, I'll keep my money. Goodbye. Well, well it's down to me and you and me and well, part of your eye. Believe me? Left. Hey, what's that? It's your finger and it's pointing. Dope. Oh, it's the ghost of Esther Williams. It's, no, it's Mr. Bubble, and boy, is he cheesed. Mm -hmm. It's a Mr. Bubble pool party. Oh. Oh, police, there's a man in the bathtub. Stop, Grandma, it's me. What will we do? We need more Calgon. There are two Japanese army boots in the lot with their lights on. Oh. Look at that! Hi there. I'm a juicy new character. Enjoy me. I'm what's known as the complication. The antagonist, if you will. Well, for my first number, I'd like to crush a warehouse. It's an old favorite. I think you're gonna like it. It goes something like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I did that on the Sullivan Show. But uh, they only film me from the waist up. They say I flipped them off. But it's just the way my fingers are constructed. <laughs> hey, if Gamera craves fire, what does Baragon crave? Uh, ben and Jerry's, Cherry Garcia. <laughs> oh. Natch. Hey, I'm doing my own stunts. If wholesome family entertainment is old-fashioned, then call me old-fashioned. <laughs> hey, look at the clown jeep. Uh -oh. Come, Tiny Tim. Don't miss us, everyone. What do you say? Well, roughly translated, it means beat cheeks. Hey, drag that nurse along. She might come in handy. Oh, he's leaking. Ugh. Like it's a fire, but wait, there's more. This serrated edge will slice tomatoes so thin you can see right through them. About this time, most folks are wondering, am I a dog? I don't even know. Rough, rough. Just kidding. <laughs> hmm? Good oh no, he thinks that's a giant fire hydrant. Don't lift your leg, boy. I think, uh... Why don't you treat yourself? You're a growing monster. Go ahead. Oh, he got Blah. that from Gene Simmons. I'm your boyfriend now. Blah. And, uh, time to go? Time to go. Oh, you want to watch the puppy? Which way is up? Stomp Mountain. The only other way is down. Stomp Mountain. And once you've reached the top, there's no turning back. <laughs> 18 Speed's top ATV performance, Stone Mountain. From Huffy, America's first choice. Love the taste? I do. I do. Cinnamon, fresh mint. I do. I do. I do. I do. Trident sugarless gum comes in six delicious flavors, so it's up to you. Who wants Trident? I do. I do. Who? She does. Who wants Trident? We do. We do. I do. I do. Good for your teeth. Great taste too. Who wants Trident? I do. Which scoopable litter would the experts prefer? A leading litter or new Scoop Fresh cat litter? They both clump. But does your litter freshen between scoops? Well, that proves it. New Scoop Fresh freshens better between scoops. I'm Cy Sperling, president of Hair Club for Men. If you have thinning hair, 
and this new booklet is something you should have. If you call our toll-free number, we'll send you our new brochure, which contains information about various hair replacement methods, including what the FDA has to say about the drug minoxidil. Of course, you'll also learn about Hair Club's new non-surgical polyfuse method. Whether wet right out of the shower or blown dry before going out, it looks and feels natural, just like a part of you. Hair Club's new polyfuse method literally fuses top quality human hair to your own hair. Even when you feel it, feel around the perimeter of your head, I mean, you really cannot feel anything in your hair. It really gave me more ways to be able to do my hair and I could do it in more of a 90s fashion. A new healthy head of hair can renew confidence and improve self-esteem. It may also bring out the best of who you are. So make sure you call our toll-free number to receive our new brochure. It's loaded with information so you can make the right choice for yourself. And by the way, I'm not only the Hair Club president, but I'm also a client. Just a beer and a bump sometimes. Oh, but I never really drink anything, you know oh, that. No, uh, I'll have the occasional light beer and Merle likes his scotch, you know. Oh, but anyway, uh, you never believe what Margaret told me about the Stewart boy. Well, oh, I am dying. Just tell me about okay, what he's into. Hey, how was everything, ladies? Oh, oh yeah. you really did a number on this Mexiquita fajita super bel grande treata, didn't you? Let oh, it was good. It's so filling. Oh, yes, everything's just wonderful. I'm really full. Me okay, too. good. Well, I'm going to be heading back to get this dessert tray. Oh, and uh, do you want anything? Coffee, tea, shot of tequila, huh? Oh, <laughs> heavens no, we're fine right Okay, now. I'll be right back, excuse oh, me. Oh, he is super neat and so creative. Oh, honey, they all are. This is my favorite place to come. Oh, not every day, but, you oh. know, a special treat sometimes. Oh, you heavens. see all the antiques on the wall oh, here? I love them. Oh, they do it up so colorful. You mm -hmm. gotta get down here on Halloween oh, sometime, because they all dress up in costumes, and it's super colorful oh, and neat. so much fun. Neat. And neat. Really. Here we are, girls. Oh, my. Here it oh, is. We're in okay. trouble now, honey. Now, oh. over here, We've got TGI Tokyo's biggest seller. Here it is, the Chocolate Towering Inferno, and uh -oh. it is decadent, mm. but uh, you probably don't like chocolate, do you? Oh, no, oh I love, love it. chocolate. Yes. I'm kidding, of course, everyone loves chocolate. <laughs> oh, uh, this one here, you probably wouldn't be interested in. Oh. I'm just kidding, it's a little rich, you know. <laughs> but this is our Apple Double Mur Murder Suicide Tort. It's kind of spicy and has a little rum in it, so I'm gonna have to see your IDs, girl. Oh, you are so do. sweet. That's okay. so sweet. Anyway, oh. this last one over here is a too dense for me to even pick up. Nope. This is our vanilla cross-country killing spree with fudge sauce. One bite of this and you uh, lock tongues with Loki, evil god of strife and discord on the seventh platform of hell. I'm just kidding, it's a little rich. Can I get oh. you one? <laughs> Should, honey, that's the one I'm gonna have Oh, uh, nothing for me, please. Oh, and a okay. Diet Pepsi, please. Another. All right, that's good. Uh, one of those and a Diet Pepsi. I'll get you a fork just in case you want to try he, it. Okay? He knows me he so sure well. Does. Oh, oh yeah. he's such a cute boy. Oh, so uh, waiter. A waiter. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Uh, could we have separate checks, please? Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. We don't do that here at TGI. Yeah, what a jerk. Oh, no kidding. Uh, ladies, uh, yes. we have a movie star. Ah! <laughs> That was just delightful. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, you got any Tums in the car? I got a little bit. Oh, I guess we'll have to postpone this. Hmm? Until this monster's dead. We can't put it off forever. It'll be too late. But the June wedding is when so cliche. When things quiet down, the police and the insurance company are bound to mess around with that ship. Oh, that's good booze. And we'll never get the Opal back. So we'll have to act now. Hmm. The only chance we've got to find it. First, we'll need money. Yeah. Oh, I've got quite a bit of money put aside. That's good. Is it in cash? I have a dowry. We could live with my and folks. we can hire the diver. Tarapta! Tarapta! Huh? The monster is getting nearer to Osaka. What? Huh? The radio says so. It'll kill all of us. Let's leave here. Let's get out. Fine, honey. What time's dinner? Are we having rice again? Well, we can't pull it up because we've got to leave Osaka. If we go now, we'll lose it. After all the risks I've taken. I'm leaving. Let's go to Kobe. It'll be safe there. Yeah. No. I'm not going until we brought that opal up here. This confusion is just what we need. Nobody will notice. Not now. Who? We've got to. Who? No, we'll have to give it up for a little while. I can't give it up. Not after I've killed two men. Huh? Oh. Anodora! We can't wait longer. Anodora! What was that you said? Tell me. You said that you've killed two men. Uh, oh, that figure of speech metaphor. <laughs> Teasing. <laughs> you've killed them both? No, well, not at the same time. I only meant they've given their lives for this. Liar! Pants on fire. You murdered my brother so that you'd have the opal to yourself. Of course not. Baby, I did. Hmm. You've killed them. You've killed them both in cold blood. Mm. No. It, you're... Uh, oh. No. Yes. Yes. Tiny Tim, no. Oh. Yes. 
Oh, oh whatever you do, don't hit the inflatable reindeer, please! Oh. Henry, the boys are at it again. Oh. You dirty rat. Huh? One of them no kung fu. Not in the room. Oh, yeah. That's it. Out you pixies go through the door, out the window. No, you're killing him. Hey, she's got money on you. Don't lose. Oh. Hey. Oh, don't worry. She's a stock mom. Ooh. Oh. Need a cream. Oh. oh, great. Finish him off with a bowling line. Oh, oh. Oh. His bad back. Yeah. Now, where are those raffle tickets? Leave me. Get me out of here. Forget the lunch and go for the wallet. Let's see. Pick six. Thanks for a lovely dinner. Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish everyone did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get out, Lord! Nice wood grain. Mm, really nice. Oh, in the garden. Oh. Very stylish shot. Aw, oh, Joel, can I have a puppy like that? Um, Please. You know, he'd be perfect for ring toss. <laughs> Look at the beat down here. You folks gotta excuse me. I'm not used to this city. Hot child in the city, running wild, looking pretty. Ooh, where are all the Nick Gilder jokes? Boy, run for it. Poor sucker chained to a desk while I roam free. Go figure. You know, I miss my Hot Wheels set. Oh, my God. That'll be fun. Bye. Toyland. Toyland. I can't believe I'm still in Toyland. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Good thing he's sporting Teflon, huh? How about a tongue sandwich, Tokyo? You know, you don't see that a lot in nature, no. really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all Christmassy. Mm -hmm. Frosted mini tanks, gang. Rosebud. <laughs> His tank was Rosebud called Rosebud. Did you know that? Is its most you ruined weapon. it. Everything within reach is immediately destroyed. Hi, folks. How's the shower, lady? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? I ate them. Ah, I love them. <laughs> Property values plummet when a whole neighborhood suffers from freezer burn. <coughs> Ooh. A little nip in the air. Yeah. Huh? Unusual weather we're having. Mm. It's a marshmallow world. It's pretty. Ooh. Oh, frozen pagoda treat. Hmm? Ah, show me something I haven't seen. You know, I saw a wire that wrecks the whole oh. thing. I mean, this is fake. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud! We're taking orders. Who wants a bear claw? Oh, I'm not in this scene. Wait a minute. Mao is a Toastmaster? A monster oh. can destroy everything with its tongue. You try so saying that without laughing. Get within its range, weapons are useless. Well then, let's not send we'll your man. We'll have to make our next attack on it from some distance. Will that be safe enough? Possibly. We do have one sight. That's out of his range. Mm. 
Hmm. Right here, where right we have here. a missile corps station. The Suzuka Pass. Hey, Park. that's Ireland. It'll be too far away. The monster's town cannot possibly reach it. It's only a mile long. Whoa. At Steve's Park, Colorado. Meet the Stinger, Big Bertha, the Gremlin. He's dreaming of big, mutated, armor-covered rabbits. All right. Whoa, has that guy been near radiation? Come on, hot flashes. The men have completed preparation, sir. H.D. Hello, Ace Award, you two. We are standing by for orders, sir. Right. Begin the attack. Morning. Oh, good morning. Hi, everybody. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. This is Baragon starting our broadcast day. Wait a minute, something's rotten in Osaka now! He wakes up with the worst breath of the millennium. I wonder if they'll floor. call off school today. It's the Rockettes! Woo. I, oh, uh -huh. Legs up, girls. What? A spy to Technicolor Spectrum Ray? Ooh, ah, it's a Skittles commercial. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. From hell. Oh, I'm sure he could do that. How do he know? Oh. Bing. Hmm. Well, that went well. Mm. <laughs> Gamera is attracted by any form of heat energy. And I'm attracted to B. Arthur. Go figure. <laughs> so Gamera is flying toward it over Osaka. Yeah. <laughs> It's becoming a starburst fruit chew before my eyes. Wow. The camera's melting like a lemon drop high above the chimney tops. Ah, uh, sir, it's not an escalator. The missile oh. The attack by the missile corps have proved unsuccessful against Baragon's rainbow. And here we end the 9 p.m. news bulletin. What, have they got radios Further in their kids' heads? Will be broadcast what? As they happen. In the meantime, some music by Yanni. You know, it's unsettling, but beautiful. Hmm. Quietly disturbing. What a dismal place to be held up with you, like. No, you can't play your accordion. I'm stuck here like a bunch of animals. Huh? Why are they making all this fuss about a tawny hey. little monster? Huh? Why? Why don't you shut up? You make me sick. Oh, not really. Oh, Reverend Moon's holding a prayer in chair. Hey, what's up? I'm Wally Collins. You know, we do our show, Stand Up, Stand Up, 13 times a week now, and uh, we're running out of ideas. So if there's any stand-up comedians or topics you want to see, please let us know. Write us or fax us your request, because we have about 3,000 hours of stand-up material, and frankly, we could really use your help. Watch Stand Up, Stand Up with Wally Collins every night at 11 here at Comedy Central. Here comes something big from Extra Sugar Free Gum. It's <laughs> pink, it's got NutraSweet, and a great classic bubblegum flavor. It's new Extra Classic Bubblegum. And since it's extra, that big classic flavor lasts an extra, extra, extra long time. So if you're chewing something else, get ready for a tremendous breakthrough. And try new Extra Classic Bubblegum. Classic bubblegum flavor that lasts an extra long time. Only blue, only you, only cool, only heat, only rock, only shock, only sock, only heat. Rich buttery toffee and smooth milk chocolate. Only heat tastes this good. Only friend, only them, only ten, only heat, only me, only you, only us. Play phone freebies and you could be an instant winner. Buy a Heath bar and have a chance at winning one of over a million prizes. An answering machine, telephone, or free Heath bar candy. And even if you're not a winner, send in three Heath wrappers and get an exclusive cassette tape of very funny answering machine messages. No purchase necessary. See Heath bar package for details. One in six chance of winning. Listen, those new dog biscuits you've been getting instead of milk bone, why? 
Milk Bone has nearly half the fat of those Purina biscuits. Half the fat. Please, give me back my Milk Bone. Less fat. Dogs know. So I'm barbecuing for 30. I got the best steaks, I got the cheap charcoal, and I got burned. Fire's out! Don't get burned by cheap charcoal. By the best. Kingsford, the sure fight. AT&T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Those AT&T so customers who spend over $11 a month on long distance could start saving right away by signing up for one of the Reach Out America plans. If you spend over $11 a month on AT&T long distance, you could save too. Just call 1-800-346-4440. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day. 25% on AT&T calls made after 5 p.m. And on some plans, enjoy a daytime discount, too. They were pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month on long distance, call AT&T. You could save 25% on evening calls. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-346-4440 and sign up for a Reach Out America plan. Camera is vulnerable to the cold. He has been frozen powerless by this new monster. Named Clarence Birdseye. But the second monster is unharmed. And now the authorities are without the means. They have already used it's every Baragon. member of the dead as well. Baragon? It now is. The authorities I are thought it was another monster, but it's my Baragon. Oh, to be God, could he kiss? Let's There's some air. Karen, what's wrong? Are you ill? I'm carrying Barragan's child. He's come too late. I just couldn't believe that your story was true. I'm responsible for bringing this. No! Oh, don't Let's do go that. As soon as it's possible to get there. You know of a way to get rid of it? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Yeah. I've got the answer here. Mm -hmm. Let's hurry to stop all this horror. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> hey, gee, lay off for a minute, would ya? Right. Oh, that's a bridge over troubled models. <laughs> that's cute. And I can't even get this open. Oh. Hey, Louie, you still okay in there? Oh, no problem. Huh? You. Oh, I did. Come on. Oh, it's with oh, the thing. That. I'm in sorry that about the thing. But the, but it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, look at that I'll lobe. Yeah, and his Leopold, Help too. <laughs> ah, boy, we'll be able to find you. the opal. <laughs> you fool. It wasn't a jewel. What's that? It was a monster's egg. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Good. I tell you that the opal was the egg out of which the monster hatched. Huh? Uh, it's our fault. You and I brought this destruction here. <laughs> We're going to kill that monster before it's too late. Don't give me that story. Uh, here's one. I'm Two Chinamen stupid. walk into a bar. <laughs> I've just come from my brother's. He and his wife are both dead. Hmm. Their house burned. Someone saw you running out of their house just before the fire. You! Hey, I was in Austria during the whole so thing. Not Man, my fault. You liar! Hands on fire. Hello? Uh, oh, that's good. Hit him with wicker. <laughs> Not the Johnny Walker! Hey, uh, honey, you can jump here anytime. Jump in, come on. Thank you. Fine. There we go. Uh oh. Ginsu 2000. Katsu let Python still disembowels. Oh, <laughs> 
feel like I'm watching Manic. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> You'd think they'd be able to use Kung Fu or something. Yeah. Where's Bruce Lee when you need him? <laughs> Ow. Sucker punch. Ow. Ow. Ah, you're lucky my chick's here, man. That's it. Don't try to understand them. Just ride and rope and brand them. Now, when I left the house this morning, I had a short rope, a long rope, and a medium sized rope. Don't you now, just tie him up. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Did you put your finger there for a sec? Okay. Time on that? Time, please. Oh, he's been shooting up. Huh? What in oh, the Hold world? on here. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. This is one weird scene. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got a little, uh... Forget it. You are one spooky chick. Do you mind if I don't call you again? Ugh. Oh, he's just her type, too. A positive, that is. <laughs> you know you're beautiful when you're bloody. I'm all right. Let's go. Hey. Is Please help me. Hey. Let's go, let's go. Hey. Wait. Uh, I, I apologize. Help me. Don't I'm trying me. to say I'm hey. sorry. Poor oh. guy. So dull. Hey, your hair got shorter. May I tell you? No. Something. No. If you please. No. Yes, go ahead. I sucked his blood and I liked it. Barragon is a land animal. Once in the water, his cells melt. Purple blood flows out quickly. At least that is the legend our ancestors have passed down to us. Mm -hmm. His strength goes rapidly. Mm. But also his tongue would become paralyzed and therefore harmless. And it would be easy to approach him and destroy him then. Mm, like the Wicked Witch, we eh? We'll pull Baragon to the water, and then he'll drown himself. It's the answer. And how do we lure him? With this. Mm. Dog bars? Oh. Jet trap. Say. We have preserved this huge diamond in our village for many generations. But what has the diamond got to do with Baragon? Now, uh, keep your shirt on. It's cubic zirconia. This will draw him on irresistibly. We can use it to lure him into the water. Mm -hmm. Does your village have many diamonds this size? Simmer Go down, ahead. you gold huh? digger. Gee. Just this one is left. Every thousand years. A monster such as this is born in my village. That's a long gestation Each period. time one is born, another of our diamonds must be sacrificed. Hmm. It is dropped <clears> into the lake to lure the monster to its death. If that's the case, I realize how precious this last diamond is. Are you sure that Baragon will respond as the legend has predicted? Nope. If you don't believe in it, you are doubting the gods. Well, guess I stepped on a few toes there, so... We haven't time to waste. It's the only idea that hasn't been tried. Oh, what about the Z-plan? We'll to work at once. Sorry. In which direction shall we guide him? Is there a large lake to sink him in? There's Biwa Lake. I can't untie well, cut it. Cut with that knife. There. Geishas who love too much. An attempt is being made to move away from Oh, the rope, not my wrist. Beware oh. is considered the safest place to deposit them. <sighs> Authorities hope that the 5,000 carat diamond, the largest That's in the it. world... Talk it over with Jack. Wow, what an incredible scheme. A 5,000 carat diamond to be sunk in Beaver Lake just to get the monster. What? Oh. Are you sure? Of course. A native girl brought it to Japan. Who told you? The radio announced it. Was she in Bride of Frankenstein? Oh, then. Mm. Those natives did have a jewel worth more than I'd ever dreamed of. A daddy needs his medicine. <sighs> Last call. All right. Mm. So I'll get it. What, a jewel bucket? Oh, right on me. In a final attempt to rid Japan of Baragon, Operation Diamond is put into effect. They offered him a, a cocktail. 5,000 carat diamond is used to trick the monster into abandoning his natural environment, land, for the waters of Lake Biwa. Scenic Lake Biwa. Yeah, right. I'm heading off to a lake. You think I was born yesterday? Oh, wait, I was. Traffic on the I-94 outbound is still bumper to bumper during the sundown slowdown. Wanted. Baragon, are 
Are you up to one of your little schemes again, you little conniver? Get me, I'm Carol Channing. Oh, well, he's cuter than Carol Channing. Oh. <laughs> you know, don't you think a disco ball would have been a little cheaper? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's Liz Taylor. No, he's smaller than Liz Taylor. Come on, be nice. <laughs> Keep dangling live? and shaking it. I think he's going for it. My jerk bait. I, I gotta go walkies. Ooh. No use. You won't follow. We oh. failed. Here's one for ya. Why did I cross the road? There's no right answer. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, now what? You smell them. Shame, shame all around. Overpass? I don't think so. <laughs> This Sunday, Comedy Central celebrates the premiere of our new stand-up show, The A-List, with the comedy Z2A countdown. First, there's comedian Paul Zaloom. He's the Z. Then Alan King talks with Henny Youngman. He's the Y. We won't stop until we get to A when Richard Lewis hosts the new stand-up show, The A-List. Hey, can we build us up anymore? So join us in a daring backwards trip through the alphabet on the comedy Z2A countdown. This Sunday, all day, only at Comedy Central. Cha-cha-cha. Who wants tried it? I do. I do. Love the taste? I do. I do. Cinnamon, fresh mint? I do. I do. I do. I do. Tried and sugarless gum comes in six delicious flavors, so it's up to you. Who wants tried it? I do. I do. Who? She does. Who wants tried it? We do. We do. I do. I do. Good for your teeth. Great taste, too. Who wants tried it? When what you eat and drink gives your stomach a surprise, you want a medicine that works directly on your stomach. Pepto-Bismol. As it coats, Pepto delivers powerful medicine right where you hurt. <sighs> Pepto-Bismol. Crunch and munch is love at first bite. Love it all day and love it all night. Toffee popcorn peanuts taste so right. Crunch and munch, love at first bite. Listen, those new dog biscuits you've been getting instead of Milk Bone, why? Milk Bone has nearly half the fat of those Purina biscuits. Half the fat. Please, give me back my Milk Bone. Less fat. Dogs know. Do you think I trust these ribs to some dressed up ketchup? No, sir. KC Masterpiece Barbecue Sauce. It's serious sauce. It's got onion, garlic, molasses. Your mouth will tell you. KC Masterpiece is barbecue. I'm Cy Sperling, president of Hair Club for Men. If you have thinning hair, then this new booklet is something you should have. If you call our toll-free number, we'll send you our new brochure, which contains information about various hair replacement methods, including what the FDA has to say about the drug minoxidil. Of course, you'll also learn about Hair Club's new non-surgical polyfuse method. Whether wet right out of the shower or blown dry before going out, it looks and feels natural, just like a part of you. Hair Club's new polyfuse method literally fuses top quality human hair to your own hair. Even when you feel it, feel around the perimeter of your head. I mean, you really cannot feel anything in your hair. It really gave me more ways to be able to do my hair, and I could do it in more of a 90s fashion. A new healthy head of hair can renew confidence and improve self-esteem. It may also bring out the best of who you are. So make sure you call our toll-free number to receive our new brochure. It's loaded with information so you can make the right choice for yourself. And by the way, I'm not only the heck of president, but I'm also a client. If this legend that the villagers believe in is really true... And I doubt it. Then kindly tell me why he disregarded the diamond. He didn't like the cut, the you clarity, know, the color of carrot. I suspected the validity of her story from the first time that I heard her speak. It was too much of a fairy tale and we should never have listened to her. Oh, geez. Heap more shame on her. Besides, I doubt very much that there was a real diamond. If a gem that size existed anywhere in the world, there'd be reports of it. So it failed. But it isn't her fault. 
She was doing her best to give you her help. Listen. You're just trying to lay all the blame on us. Yeah, yeah and Scarecrow's brain. brain. Just remember that it was your greed that brought all this misery upon us in the first place. You got me. Still, we try to help. Be quiet. And go to your room. I acted shamefully, I know. She's blameless. She gave you one possible plan. It's just been a foolish waste of precious time. Mm. I know, but it isn't her fault. Die, die, die! die. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Areas to the west have been most recently hit. I have to go now. To the little general's room, you know. transporting victims to the three... He hurts me so. ...set up to accommodate the excessive number of casualties. There, there, dear. Let's get you a pint of fresh type A. Residents are advised to take whatever action they can to treat the wounds of relatives and friends on the spot instead of waiting... I'll get a room. I'll repeat that message. I hate to pull rank on you, son, but, um... In fact, we're very much obliged to you. You tried your best. She is a wild tigress. Excuse isn't she? me. This gentleman is Dr. Sato. Hello. Ah. Uh, how are you? Fine, thanks. Good. You? This time you've got some real trouble. Ah, uh, we certainly have. Uh huh. Think you can help us? Have you got some suggestions to make? Well, I'm glad I stopped by. On my way over yes. here. I believe that Barrigan was exposed to an infrared ray while still an egg. And hmm. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower you grows. See? I was on the ship that brought the egg here to Japan. Hmm. An odorer. Uh, hmm. He was the man who found the egg, thinking it was a gem. Uh -huh. He was then receiving infrared ray treatment for athlete's foot. Hey, what's so absorbing, now, it seems quite Junior? possible that he forgot to turn the lamp off. It was probably directed towards the egg. We hey, can look assume back there. It's Cary Grant in the, the Fabergé years. Ah. At very close range and over quite a substantial period of time. Castro's so the there, too. must have speeded up hmm. considerably the growth of the monster. And that explains it. Now I understand what's happened. The legend says Baragon should take ten years to reach his present size. Mm -hmm. Ah, indeed. Are you certain that it should take ten years to mature? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Baragon is really a freak with an abnormal body. I know the feeling. That's something we doctors can explain. If an expectant mother is exposed to radioactivity, uh -huh. a freak may be born. Like Rick James? So mm -hmm. then. Yep. Then that's why it showed no interest in the diamond. That's right. He's there's a no doubt about super it. freak. Ow, Listen, ow. now that we know that it's a freak, isn't there some different way that we should attack it? It's there Herbie. Is. Expose the diamond to the infrared ray. Mm -hmm. Will that do us any good? No, no but it will pad the film out the a little bit. The infrared ray speeded up oh, the monster's good. birth. Barrigan must therefore respond favorably to it. Yeah, I'm buying this big time. Now then, perhaps the diamond, if radioactive, will be affected. Barrigan may respond to it, as you first hoped. There we go. That's me. Carter, is there any way to make him stay where he is now? Oh, we could staple him to the floor. There's one possibility. Mm -hmm. Our villagers have all been praying for rain. If heaven cares, it will send us rain. Why rain? You got a better idea? Water will weaken him. Our legend says that the monster cannot move while it rains. She kidding us? But why wait for the gods? Isn't it easy now to create rain? Heck, my aunt mm -hmm. could do it. We'll produce it, all right. You direct. Man-made rain from helicopters. A flight of helicopters is sent to fly over Baragon, spraying onto him man-made rain, a mist-like liquid, which, it is hoped, will arrest the monster's movements. At Send the in the clouds. Time, the rain should make Baragon unable to exhale his freezing vapor, thus rendering him harmless. Or at least drowsy and unable to operate heavy machinery. Hmm. Ow. Could be raining. <laughs> oh. Catch the drops on your tongue, it's fun. You know, uh, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. It's fun. Poppies. Poppies will make him sleep. Well, let's head over to the bozo Poppies. drum. <laughs> this machine is called a death ray projector and a ruby is put in to act upon the light molecule. Mm -hmm. Thus, the waves of light are broken down. Right now, oh, just get on with it. You can see the machine is in the experimental stage and can't be put to practical use. Mm -hmm. But now, possibly, we can employ the diamond instead of the ruby. Neat. Let's insert it. Together. And try its effectiveness. You're trying Spoil my me. effectiveness. We're anxious to try it out at once. Turn it onto Barrigan and see if it works. Okay. He's sleeping. Somebody put his hand in warm water.
darn poachers. Well, there goes our ride. Baragon, you're crying. Fake. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, look at him. He's all over the road. Oh, no. Oh, and here comes a hapless family on a Sunday ride. Um, honey, there's something on the road ahead. What is this, the Universal Stop. Tour? Oh. Stop. Begin. Okay. Go begin. Who? Right. Move you know, forward. love is kind of crazy with a spooky little girl like her. Mm -hmm. Hmm? No! Company, my favorite snack. Karen, got it? And she never <laughs> lost it. Be careful. And okay. the music goes round and round and comes out here. Whoa, look, he's leaking. No, he's just dieseling. Oh. Hey, preparation's ready, sir. Good. Start. Go. Oh. Begin. We'll start. Get going. Engage. Ah. Make it so. Now. Fire. Stop. Initiate. Go. Time to get it moving. Whatever happened to Gimbal? He got top billing. He must have a really good agent, I think. Oh, I suppose so. Now... Huh. It's moving! It's moving! Hey! Good. Drive on. It's that glowing guy again. Once he gets into the spotlight, we're expecting him to do a couple of jazzy show tunes. Spotlight dance, Baragon. Doing the dog. Good. Well said. Ah, uh, you know, I was, I was singing for the people. They were crawling on me. They were, they were throwing jewelry. She's got the flare nostril look I love so much. Oh, now watch. He'll have black rings around his eyes when he pulls the binoculars down. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Everything. We got to lengthen the movie. I'm so embarrassed. Rough, rough. Let's get out of here! Right! Don't start, huh? Mummer! Mummer! Mummer, it's a boy! Oh no, he's doing Jolson! Turn out the light! Quickly! For action! And now I would like to tell a few things about show business. I'm, I'm, I'm about the time that I met this man that was coming to me on Broadway. I'm... Right. Forward now. Yes, sir. Orders came down. No jessle. Don't say it. Right. So Herbert Heuvel comes to me and he says that I'm, I'm, I'm... Vehicles! You must progress now to the lake! Yay! Hey, we're all going to the lake! Yay! Whoopee! You're really inflatable dog! I'm not going in the tunnel. Well, I'm sure not going to lose that diamond. Time to blow. No, don't go! You can't take such a risk. Let go of me and stay way. out of my oh, car! Please no. hey, don't go! Come back here! Get away! No! Don't go! Don't go! Uh, hey, Crow, any more brewskis in the cooler over there? Uh, no. Uh, how about a frozen daiquiri confection? Oh, sure. That sounds great. Boy, it sure is a nice day today, hmm? Yeah, like a warm summer night back home. 
Yeah. You know, back on Earth, we used to hang out at the beach all the time, or else we'd uh, go to the drive-in, which was really fun. The drive-in? Oh, yeah. We'd all pile into the car and head out to the old Lucky Twin back in uh, Buffalo on Route 5. Oh. Joel, tell us about the movies again. Hmm? Well, my little cinematic sidekicks. You know, in those days, we had real stars. We didn't need dialogue. We had faces. Yeah, kind of like this camera film, huh, Joel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this that's... film certainly had a lot of faces. I'll give you that for free. But these films never seem to have any big-name stars. Well, that's where you and I split the dog, my little red pal. Uh, this film is packed with celluloid heroes, and they never feel any pain. Huh. It was a magic time in Hollywood. Stars jumped at the chance to appear in a Gamera film. Wow. Here, I'll show you. Cambot, do it like I like it. See, check it out. There's Edward G. Robinson, fresh from his role in Soylent Green. Yeah, now shut up and eat your Soylent Green, eh? Soylent Green is made from people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Here's Elvis Costello making his screen debut. I don't know. It looks more like Marshall Crenshaw to me. Or Arnold Stang. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, here's Peter Ustinov. Hey, it looks just enough like him to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and here we have Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, right, sure. Hey, Joel, let me finish. Cute. Next, we have Steve Allen, Claude Akins, and Harrison Ford. Odd job and William Defoe. Robert Blake and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, are you okay? Hey, shut up. Hank Williams Jr., Jerry Lewis, and William Defoe. Uh, Joel, when you went to the drive-in, did you spend a lot of time in the trunk? Did I mention Jerry to you, Bots? You guys probably don't know him from hardly working or cracking up. But, oh, lady, mister, he may need a home and what in the hay? Oh, please help me. Oh, ham, uh, lady, folks, pretty we'll be lady. right back. Oh, Sorry dear. you had to see this. Oh, dear. I'm Ellen DeGeneres, and I want you to watch for me on the A-List. It's a show that'll be here at Comedy Central, and uh, I don't know when it's airing, but just when you see it, I'll be wearing this shirt, and then you'll go, that's the show she wants me to watch, and then just watch, just me, really. You can turn it off when I'm done. I'm actually last, so you'll see the whole show. Thanks. The A-List premiering Sunday, April 19th at 9.30 here at Comedy Central. Most guys kick back on the weekends. Jack, on the other hand, good. So, how do you feel? Great rock and roll. Only one beer has the taste as genuine as the people who drink it. Budweiser. Tomorrow, we're sleeping in. My mother and I went to lunch. When I opened my purse to pretend like I might pay the check, a roll of certs tumbled out. Who is he, she asked. I said, mother. I don't have to be romantically involved with a man to use certs. I just want fresh, clean breath. Good, she said. He didn't look right for you anyway. Get certs with Retsin to clean your breath, not just cover it up. Certs is proud to be a presenter of Comic Relief 5. Watch for it soon on HBO. You got kids? You got germs. Hold it. You definitely need Liquid Dial. It has a unique antibacterial formula other liquid soaps don't. So why not wash with a soap that's made to kill germs? Liquid Dial. Kill the germs. Keep the kids. Sunburn. Don't see there's a lot of stars in this movie. Yeah. Neat. Careful, Robin. Both hands on the bat rope at all times. It's you. Huh? Why are you here? I'm getting that diamond. Hey, yours. Hasn't your dream caused enough grief already? Why don't you get out of here? Oh, boy. You know, guys, I'm starting to doubt their friendship. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> Humans, who can understand him? Go figure. What's going on? Hey, Sergeant! Go and check! Doctor! Doctor! Give me the news! I have a right to get at that diamond. No, you haven't! Dance! Dance! The Lombada! The forbidden dance? Yeah! Well, I'll shoot. Right. On a dance! Ah, <laughs> oh, wait, wait! I don't have my skis up! Ah! Oh, 
that's giving him the raspberry. <laughs> Help me, I've been French to death. I call that a manwich. <laughs> Just something to hold him over until he gets to Osaka. No, you can't go back in the water for another hour. Remember that. Why are they so sad? That's the guy that killed his brother. Well, there's something about watching a man get tongued to death. Like well, that's the way I want to go. Woo! Well, that's it. We're licked. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what you get. Mom, Mom, watch me dive. Throw me a stick. I'll catch it. The plan has failed. Pyro gonna swallow the massive diamond. Our only hope is that he'll pass it. So now? The only method that we have left to get rid of the monster has now been lost. Oh, okay. Get the helicopters. Sir. Have them produce range so Paragon can't move. There is no other way. Sir. I love the theater. I do. Meanwhile, on a storage unit outside of Osaka. Hmm? What are they, at a Colombo tryout? It's useless looking around here. We won't find a thing. Yeah, the audience is left, Ever too. Ever since I was a child, I've been told of the disastrous rainbow that the monster can make. But no one in the well, what's she going it. on about? Because one is born only after each thousand years. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. I was too young the last time. No matter how terrifying it was. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't know. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Did you say well, something? No one will ever be able to get rid of it now. It's our punishment for wanting so much wealth. Well, what's going to happen to Donald Trump? Yes, yes, she's buying it. If only I could work up a tear. Oh, she's going for it. Wait a minute. Hmm? Napkin? That gives me an idea. Honey, you're brilliant. Ooh. Hmm? Now, what are these? Snap zooms. They look like rearview mirrors. They're all that's left of the Jeep. Hmm. Are these questions rhetorical? Why weren't they destroyed along with everything uh -huh. else? They appear to be impervious. Read. See what that means? There's a weakness in the rainbow. And there's more of us. Oh. oh. Now, Doctor. Isn't the rainbow similar to a death ray projector? Well, yeah. it's kind of a reach, but maybe. I believe that's right. That seems logical. Sure. When the rainbow hit the mirror, it seems to have been reflected in just the way light is. It wasn't hard, because the energy didn't penetrate it. Ah, I see. Yes. Reflected. Kill him. The principle itself's really a simple enough one. Hmm. You may have hit on something important. But will this help us? Can we use it against Barragon? No, but it's something to do. Yes, sir. I'm an amateur at these matters, but I have an idea. <laughs> hmm? Here, now hold out your right. These flames can reach an extremely intense heat. They can even melt steel. And yet, the stove itself is quite unaffected by all this heat. Now, why? Ah, don't... Flame. The flames are ejected outwards away from it. But if they're turned in onto the burner itself, what would happen then? There's no guess. We're taking a shop course all of a sudden. Oh, I'm make a birdhouse for you folks. So you see, <laughs> I the made burner can be penetrated by its own flame when exposed to it. In the same way, Paragon can be destroyed. Uh, come again? Do we need to know this for the test? What do you think, sir? You're toasted, hmm. aren't you? That's quite an idea. But surely it's impossible to apply it here, on oh, Barragan. Why can't you ever support can me? Possible. These mirrors. We'll make a mirror large enough and reflect his rainbow onto him. So in theory, Barragan will be made to die by his own rainbow. Yeah, if that makes it work for you, of course. Mm. Mm. How very fitting. Cool. Ironic, I love All it. All right. Please get ready to carry it out. Get your costumes on.
the microwave antenna at the summit of Mount Kajika is turned into a mirror in readiness for Operation Rear View Mirror. Giant shredded wheat is deployed. Hundreds of workmen are employed treating everything that holds the mirrors in place with a mercury preparation. Tanks of Windex are commissioned by the government. Kids are told by the thousands not to smudge the mirrors. At the same time, action is being taken to keep Baragon in one spot. George Winston music is played for him. Preparations for Operation Rearview Mirror have been completed. The ground force is making use of all its most advanced weapons in the attack against Baragon. It is hoped that in this way, Baragon will be angered. And maybe a little put out. He will respond by sending out his most powerful weapon, the rainbow. A forgiveness. Left by 300 degrees. 300 Left degrees. by 300 degrees. Waja. Down 28 degrees, 5 seconds. Down 28 degrees, 5 seconds. a heck of a tan on that thing. Stop! Correct range. Correcting range, sir. Uh, 35, sir. Right! We're ready now. Everything's in place to begin. Doctor, won't it be better to wait till night when we can see the rainbow? I agree. We'll wait. You don't know one of my organization has ever talked to me like that. I like it. So. Oh, Grand Canyon Suite. There's no one up there. No workmen or others. Oh, no. Everything at the antenna is done by remote control. I like your oh, shirt. That's kind of drapey. <laughs> what now? I was posing for a golf shirt for crying out loud. Uh, what was that about repositioning the tanks? Too late. Mm. You can't run from the rainbow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Frosted Lucky Charms. Oh. Ah, that's a cheap shot. Ooh, can you imagine how that must smell? Yeesh. Ah, you know what really burns my butt? Me. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Oh, 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 hot, oh, hot, oh, water, water, oh. Ah. Baragon's dead. And Garson's got him. I think so. <laughs> He's dead. You've killed him. I'm faking. Oh, this is going to be just like Fatal Attraction, I know it. Oh, what, is David Lynch directing now? Separating fistulas made from delicious Smucker's gravy chowder. Oh, we just gave him a oh rash. Oh, God. We failed. The rays weren't powerful enough for it. We've got to try again. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, you've got to drag him. We must arouse him. Hey, I listened to the diamond thing, but I am not going to arouse him. Baragon won't send out another rainbow. But why not? Why not, Karen? I've grown up in the jungle, mm -hmm. and I've lived amongst the wild animals. So? So I know about their ways. Oh. When an animal has once been hurt by its own mistake, it will never make the same mistake again. Not like us. What she says is right. It will never send another rainbow. Everything's in the toilet. Operation Rearview Mirror. Is that an end? So let's go eat. Who's hungry? You buying? Oh, no. There's nothing we can do. That's, That's the spirit. spirit. Nothing. <laughs> ah, shut up, you pathetic bastard. Get up. Quit your crying. Oh, you're nothing but a goddamn coward. Give, give me something to slap him with. But now, the buildings frozen by Barogan have begun to thaw. The ice melts away from Osaka Castle. Gamera has regained consciousness. And his pilot has relit. Uh, hey, are those Lee Cresson nails? Mm -hmm. This Sunday, Comedy Central celebrates the premiere of our new stand-up show, The A-List, with the comedy Z2A Countdown. First
first, there's comedian Paul Zaloom. He's the Z. Then Alan King talks with Henny Youngman. He's the Y. We won't stop until we get to A when Richard Lewis hosts the new stand-up show, The A-List. Hey, can we build us up anymore? So join us in a daring backwards trip through the alphabet on the Comedy Z to A countdown this Sunday, all day, only at Comedy Central. E D C D A. Cha-cha-cha. My friend Amanda used to wear those horrible, fake-looking color contact lenses. Ugh, I said to her. Then one day, she waltzes in with the most gorgeous, warm, soft, sparkly blue eyes ever. Now this is you, I said. Illusions color contact, she said. But real, I said. Illusions, she said. New illusions for even the darkest brown eyes in so many warm colors. Satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Really? Let's take off our sneakers and get comfortable. Uh-oh, sneaker odor. Let's uh, go to the movies. Tame ferocious sneaker odor with sneaker tamers from Odor Eaters. Springy insoles with activated charcoal, the world's most powerful odor destroyer. Sneaker tamers has it. This Scholes doesn't. Sneaker tamers absorb sweat, destroy sneaker odor, guaranteed for the life of your sneakers. No more sneaker odor. Sneaker tamers from Odor Eaters. Introducing today's recipe pasta sauces from Ragu. Today's recipe is low in fat. Today's recipe has no cholesterol. Today's recipe has half the sodium of our original recipe and no sugar added. A delicious recipe, a smart recipe. It starts today. Which Ragu tonight? Today's recipe pasta sauces. The lion says save America for your country, for yourself. Save America with Dreyfus 100% U.S. Treasury Money Market Fund. 100% U.S. Treasuries, the safest portfolio investment of all. What's that? Your money's dozing away in a bank money market account. Wake up to higher yields. Week after week since the fund began, Dreyfus 100% U.S. Treasury has returned more than the bank money market average. Even more if you pay state or local income tax on your bank account, because this unique Dreyfus fund is free of income tax in 49 states. <laughs> Sorry, Tennessee. For today's yield, call 1-800-544-1574. And we'll send you information, a prospectus. Checking? Free checking. Invest in Dreyfus 100% U.S. Treasury Money Market Fund. Call 1-800-544-1574. Don't bank on it. Dreyfus on it. And finally, a fight. How about a little death bite on the neck? <laughs> Hey, bite this. You mean like this? <laughs> I am wired. He is, too. Hey, 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 you kids, no splashing. Come on. Hey, this water got warm all of a sudden. Don't look at the light, Marion. Look away. If, if you think of them as two guys in rubber suits, it's real sad. Yeah. Uh, rip my tummy, rip my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and out from the lizard came a bubbling crew. Bile, that is. Texas Tang. No, no, I don't want to get my hair wet. Ooh. Oh, look. <gasps> He's in the water. Mm. I'm here, Steve. It just may succeed. It's a crazy idea, but it just might work. He's drowning in his own gravy. <clears throat> hey, that fluoride treatment shows he's really needing to floss. Yeah. By this time, my lungs were aching for air. That is the last time you can ever do that. Don't hit or yell. Hurts, huh? <laughs> we died together, my friend. <laughs> Come on, now fight! You've never given up on anything in your life? Now fight! Don't want to. Uh. Hey, 
hey, it's the, the night the lights went out on Paragon. Oh, no, she said he wouldn't do another rainbow. Hey, it's stopping now. Paragon's finished. He's completely defeated. Then why do I feel so empty? Victory room. Oh, give her a kiss, you big lug. Come on. Yeah, a little sugar on the jaw. Let's go home. Now, shouldn't they have killed Gamera now that they've got him right there? Good idea. I don't know. Call me prudent. You know, after the thrill is gone, we're left with the cold reality that the chase was all we ever had. My great expedition was a disaster. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh-huh. All that way, just to bring back anguish. Ooh. But you did your best to help him, you found out. Then you'll have me? It was you who gave unselfish help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, it was me. I've learned... We should never let greed direct our actions. Yeah, but let's pick out my ring first. Karen. Hmm? I'll take you home. Back to your peaceful village. Will you? I feel so absolutely alone right now. Solipsism is its own reward. My brother's mm -hmm. dead. Gosh, your hand is clammy. I could never love you. Don't make me laugh. You're not alone. Oh. Hey, there's like eight hands down there. Hey, get your hands out of there. You're squeezing too hard for a grip. And so we wave goodbye to our friends. Back to the ocean, the source of all credits. Gamera will be back in support your local sheriff. Nobody knows oh, why. Sandy Frank. I don't think I've seen his name before. Good mm -hmm. night, everyone. Enjoy the buffet. We should get out of here. Come on. Oh, come uh, on. I'm going to stick around. Oh, I want to see how this stay? turns out. Okay. No, no, we should go. It's just water. Mm -hmm. You can stay just a little bit longer, okay? Mucho agua. Crow, if you stay in too long, you'll get wrinkly, dear. Come on. <laughs> Oh, gee, Joel, that wasn't much of a Gamera movie. Yeah, I mean, Gamera was hardly in the movie at all, yet he gets top billing. Why is that, hmm? Well, you see, uh, in this film, Gamera, Gamera wanted to spend a lot more time behind the camera. See, yeah, and that's how it all worked out. You see, in Hollywood, Gamera is considered a triple threat, a performer, director, and monster. Oh, kind of like Barbara Streisand. Yeah, exactly. You know, you'll read about the whole story of Gamera versus Varagon in this new book, You'll Never Eat This Town for Lunch Again. See, it's all in there, yeah. That's really interesting. You know, when it comes to behind-the-scenes stories about monster movies, I'd like to read more about it. <laughs> exactly, Tom. Reading opens up a wonderful world of whimsy and enchantment, grades three to five. Wow, I want to read that one. Hey, Hollywood Baragon, the seamy side of monster movies. Oh, that's really neat. Now, the next one looks good, too. The best places to eat Japanese. <laughs> Ooh, how, how about that? How to destroy a city without really trying. Yeah, next one, the oldest living Japanese mutants tells all. Move your hand. And this one's great for kid, the fabulous Where's Baragon books, oh, too. Oh, it's delightful, too. You know, there's a lot of great... Uh, also books, books on, on tape, tape about monsters, about yeah. About <laughs> this one's The Velveteen Turtle, read by Meryl Streep. Let's listen to that one, Kamba. And so, the Velveteen Turtle said to the little toy soldier, You're not like the other toys, are you? You're different. That is why I am going to kill you. Why? Because you are going to die. Yeah, and also, ah, that's yeah, that one out. And touchy. then there's this Sharp Tongue, a memoir, is read by Baragon. Let's hear that one, Kamba. <laughs> 
Hey, what are these books, Joel? Less than zero. I am not Spock. Tech on? Wars by William Shatner. Oh, these An actor publishes a novel tonight on Emergency. These are 9 just <laughs> mine over there. Why don't these we are, uh, read a letter, guys? Oh, why huh? not? Hey, okay, this one looks pretty neat. Uh, let's put that on still store there. Anyway, this is from Joel Carnes of Naperville, Illinois. Joel uh, writes. Dear Joel and gang on MST, I really like your show. My favorite people are Crow, Tom Servo, Gypsy Cambot, and you. Well, that's just about all of us, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't like your bosses too much. Oh, we don't either. Frank is kind of a crybaby, and Dr. Forrester yells at Frank too much. I'm 12 years old and watch your show all the time. I love the Invention Exchange. You all make terrific inventions. Hope to see more of your show. Let's put that up on the screen. Tell them where they can write, Tom. They can write to the Mystery Science Theater Information and Club, Post Office at the Fed, and the Fed, Hopkins, and the Sun, and the to do it today. What do you think, sirs? Uh -huh. Funny you should mention books, Booby. I asked Frank to pick me up a book to read at the beach this weekend. Uh, what did you get, Frank? Oh, you're going to love it. This is great. It's The Stand by Stephen King. This is the new uncut version, which contains all the passages that were cut from the restored version. It's really great. You're going to really oh, enjoy it. Frank. Yeah. Push the button, Frank. <laughs> Coming up next is an hour of off-the-wall comedy with Night After Night with Alan Havey. It's not just a talk show, it's an adventure. Tonight, Alan Havey brings you all the news that fits. According to a Red Book magazine poll, it should take six dates to get a woman into bed. What I want to know is, do phone calls count as dates? Night After Night with Alan Havey, coming up next, here at Comedy Central. Say, Dare, do you like good comedy? Well, north, south, east, or west, don't pass over this show. Hey, folks, it's not a good Friday. It's a great Friday! Ha-ha! <laughs>